Hey guys, welcome back to Black Star Podcast YouTube channel. This is your host, Jared, and today I was wanting to actually talk to you guys about an industry that I do not actually hear much about and people don't seem to be talking about. And that's the Hyperloop industry. Now, for those of you that do not know about the Hyperloop, uh, Hyperloop it's a type of train system that can act that will actually allow for faster travel possibly faster than planes fast uh, uh, definitely flat faster than ships but not many people talk about it so today I was going to actually talk to you guys about it because like I said a lot of people do not know about this industry they focus more on the train part the transportation part of it and also on the on the bullet train aspect of it but i'm not i'm trying i'm going to be talking about something that's actually theoretical in a sense so people that keep up with elon musk know that he's developing a maglev system a mag train in a sense uses magnet uh, magnets and magnetic levitation in order to uh, travel so basically a electric uh, basically almost like a rail gun electrical um, electrical current is applied to a coil or a rail and the power is going one way and the train the train is actually following that power current to is actually uh, to where it's supposed to go or like a rail gun it launches so not many people are talking about it and that's an industry that actually needs more needs people to actually innovate more in because that is an industry that is not been that is a brand new that is a very brand new industry that industry is so it's 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 is people that don't understand the construction, the layout, and the systems of that of that industry, they would they would think or hell even the science behind it, they would think that oh it can't be done or can't be accomplished or 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 that sounds that sounds insane because. Nothing can move that fast. Whereas there's people that understand the science behind it that actually know that it can work. So, in a sense, if you build a hyperloop system, you will have to, so basically almost like a bullet train. A bullet train travels at typically around 350 miles an hour to 400 miles an hour. A hyperloop could travel at a speed around 800 to 900 miles an hour give or take and a lot of people refuse to actually look at it at from my engineering standpoint the main thing you're going to run with run the main thing you're going to run into with the hyperloop system it uh with the train the running at that speed it's going to be air resistance. Air resistance is going to be the main. It's going to be the main problem that you're going to run into. Also, traffic. So, I was thinking innovations in that in that sector can be developing a hyperloop system that travels underground, <clears throat> but close enough to the surface to where if there's an emergency, you can literally you would literally be able to evacuate that train with ample amount of time or even in, or even in this sense stop the train if there is a um if there is a situation happening further up the line the train would be able to stop fast enough close to the uh, emergency exit to where it can It'll shut itself down and it'll stop itself and allow people to get off of the train. But nobody's thinking about this because technology is so 
premature, it hasn't been developed, it hasn't been talked about enough, it hasn't actually been tried, and tr- uh, hasn't been tried. And the problem is, people think that it's crazy. But you know one thing? People thought that the combustion engine in your cars were crazy back in the day. In the, in the early 18, in the late 1800s, people thought that was crazy. People thought, oh, it's not going to work. Horse and carriage are going to always be the all, all in all. When they perfected the technology for combustion engines, combustion engines got more efficient, more powerful. Hell, even more, uh, hell, now you got cars that can last around, last, you got diesel engines that can last around over a million miles and track the trailers. Back then, you would have to literally get a engine rebuild for carrying heavy loads and a track trailer every 50 to 60,000 miles, I get, I think. I'm not sure. But the technology is there. The technology we have nowadays, we can build a system that can literally advance transporta- train t- uh, transportation and get trains off of using diesel fuel and all... all diesel fuel coal a lot of that it can go away if we can just get the technology advanced enough to where it can carry a heavy load let's say each train carries around a million pounds depending on how many how many locomotives are actually connected up to it it can transport to up to, to it can transport between a million to five million pounds i think i believe and that's about 30 to 7 30 to 70 cars if we could get a maglev train to transport a load of even of even 50 to 70,000 pounds and get it from New York to LA or hell even from New York to London fast enough that can literally be that can be a new industry that can get built overnight but nobody's talking about it people think it's actually impossible but I believe because I'm that jackass that actually loves to think about impossible shit it can be done especially with nowadays technology hell even next generation technology if we can if we can develop the technology early enough and actually cause it and actually um, implement it into these systems, we can actually have something that's actually more advanced than what we even thought we can do. Hell, people think that building a a helicarrier, I'm going to know I'm going off the fucking rails with this one, a helicarrier. They believe that technology doesn't, uh, our current technology and a bunch of the, uh, and the amount of money that would be required to actually build a supercarrier like that. Here's the problem. Each country's military, as well in the U.S., uh, U.S., Russia, China, they ru- their countries roughly spend around a trillion to two trillion dollars on on uh, government. Uh, government contracts for um, military for the military now if a company can build a helicarrier for around let's just say let's just put let's just put a fucking nail number out there for 200 billion dollars that's a lot of money but the problem is we have the resource the resources will have to be come from somewhere you have companies on the moon. Uh, you have not companies. Damn, I'm going off of all of all of the fucking rails with this one. There's a good point to this. Just bear with me. There's a hydrogen three, no helium three, um, deposit on the moon. There's a large, a large deposit on the moon of helium three. Those of you who know what Helium-3 is, you know that Helium-3 has been used in Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect, the uh, Mass Effect series. 
But in reality, if you can develop a engine that's powerful, more powerful than what we have with helium-3 that doesn't have any emissions, you can... And that can that can have a uh, more that has more power uh, that's more powerful than a rocket engine, or even a jet. You can literally build up a new corporation overnight and be a powerhouse in the game. Now, the ideas I'm talking about they're kind of a little out there, but that's that's my job. I'm I'm a person of 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 thought I'm I love thinking about shit that can actually be built but people are just not willing to actually put in the resource to do it but you may say I'm crazy you may say I'm one of the most insane motherfuckers out here but if you think about it hard enough you actually can see where I'm going with this I may sound insane but the problem is builders are often thought of as being insane or crazy. But I can tell you one thing. This motherfucker knows something that you people don't. <laughs> but anywho guys, um that's just it's just a little rant. But I wanted to get you got your your idea your um I wanted to get your minds thinking because you know what matter of fact Hop on my pod, hop on the podcast. I'm about to post the episode on the podcast, and I want you to actually see what I'm talking about on my podcast because I'm actually about to go into it. But anywho, guys, that's it for this video on YouTube. Uh, I got a lot more to go, a lot more to talk about on the podcast. Hop over to um, Spotify or whatever you listen to, listen to, and actually look at, uh, listen to the podcast and. Hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you guys. Bye.